I'm sorry, actually, if uh, you, you can see the Novobiome actually logo on, the, on this slide, but uh, um, Novobiome is a pharma biotech, and which is pretty far from uh, um, the nutraceuticals. So I will introduce you to the other company, uh, Ginov, Ginov, for uh, English-spoken people in the, <laughs> on the field. Uh, which is which makes the link between uh, uh, the previous presentation and uh, uh, neuropsychiatry, as uh, Joel mentioned earlier this morning. So, basically, I, I as a medical doctor, I often introduce my talks with uh, with this slide, and uh, I think no, nobody has uh, mentioned that, but uh, I think it, it's relevant. Uh, as uh, Hippocrates said uh, almost two thousand years ago, that all disease begin in the gut. And uh, uh, the second quote, which is attributed to uh, Hippocrates, is let food be the medicine, and the medicine be your food. So it brings me to the, the, the value proposition of uh, Ginov, which is a startup that, that I founded uh, a seven, almost eight years ago, uh, which is along with medical treatment, and it makes the link with the pre previous uh, presentation, physician can recommend innovative, scientifically validated, pharmaceutical grade food products to their patients with chronic disorders, notably women. Uh, GINOV stands for gynecological innovation, so you uh, easily understand that it's basically a femtech. Why uh, uh, this is important? Because women needs vary considerably, considerably ac across the lifespan, uh, and uh, there are therapies for common women's health problems that are lacking, well, regarding hypofertility, endometriosis, uh, polycystic ovary syndromes, and so on and so forth. And if you consider chronic disorders uh, uh, that affect both genders, uh, usually uh, they disproportionately affect women. So this slide, you've seen that this morning, but I just wanted to focus uh, on uh, neuropsychiatric conditions. Uh, um, epid epidemiologically speaking, globally it affects more than 10% of the chronic disorders uh, worldwide. The, 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 the global cost of anxiety and depression, for example, is over a trillion US dollars. And uh, uh, with a specific focus on depression, it has become the number one health economic burden in Europe. Uh, and uh, it was even before the uh, COVID-19 pandemics, it's even worse now and probably it will worsen in the, in the uh, upcoming years. Uh, a focus on the microbiota gut-brain axis. We've been talking about the gut-brain axis. I think uh, it would be more relevant to talk of the microbiota gut-brain axis and even more on the diet microbiota gut-brain axis. Uh, the microbiota, it has been mentioned, it, it, it is extremely important for the uh, CNS development. I won't go in, 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 into details, but uh, the CNS development is uh, uh, extremely linked with uh, 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 the uh, constitution of the gut microbiota. It also obviously in, uh, influences adult central nervous system. Uh, as uh, Judith said, I need to, to be fast if I want to have my uh, alcohol-free <laughs> alcohol drink after this presentation, so I won't go into too much details. <clears throat> the bidirectional gut microbiota crosstalk is uh, now, it's not fully elucidated, but uh, we have uh, a pretty good uh, uh, sight of uh, what, what, what's going on. What is interesting is uh, a paper I found uh, a week ago, actually, is the, 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 the drawing on the right-hand side. Uh, discussing with Felice uh, uh, during the lunch, we've been discussing of the signature, not only the microbial signatures, but regarding the metabolite signatures. And uh, when uh, uh, um, uh, CNS disorders, neuropsychiatric disorders are, are, are concerned, it is more and more interesting to see that uh, the functions that, are, that could lack uh, can be identified through uh, gut microbiome metabolites. So uh, uh, when considering neurotransmission, blood-brain barrier integrity, uh, uh, and the uh, metabolism within the brain, uh, the neurodevelopment, neuroprotection, uh, uh, we have already the means to uh, find out 
uh, uh, new biomarkers related to uh, uh, um, the brain gut axis. So as uh, Joel mentioned this morning, uh, there are at least two uh, um, condition, common features uh, in chronic conditions, a leaky gut syndrome, which would better be described as leaky gut syndromes, because uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, single uh, definition of leaky gut syndrome, and you can encounter several uh, uh, manifestations of uh, the, the, the leaky gut, and the microbiota dysbiosis. What, why is this important? Because the same causes uh, are responsible of the same effects on the brain br blood barrier. And uh, 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 this leaky gut syndrome or syndromes will lead, will result in a neuroinflammation because there is a leaky blood brain barrier also. That's for the leaky gut. Uh, uh, regarding the dysbiosis, actually uh, it results in a loss of diversity in alpha and beta, meaning for in, inter and intra in the individual. Uh, it has been described, we can find some metagenomic signatures for most of uh, uh, neuropsychiatric disorders. You can see the list with the uh, uh, anxiety disorders, uh, anxiety, uh, uh, autism spectrum diseases, bipolar disorders, uh, ED. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> schizophrenia and so on and so forth. So we have already uh, uh, um, identified um, met metagenomic signatures for most of uh, uh, um, uh, neuropsychiatric disorders. And last but not least regarding this, uh, actually we have the di dysbiosis in the microbiota, we have the molecular signatures, and this paper, uh, uh, quite recent, is very interesting because they propose they, don't, they, they don't know, do not recommend, but just as uh, the previous speaker, they propose uh, uh, probiotics that might be interesting uh, with a, a specific mechanism of action uh, uh, that can be relevant for all those uh, uh, different conditions. So let's go back to the basics. Let food be your medicine. <laughs> Uh, this is a very interesting paper that has been published uh, uh, last year, uh, very recent, and uh, uh, if you have the opportunity to have a look at it, it, it was published uh, in uh, uh, Current Opinion on Clinical Nut Nutrition Metabolic Care. Uh, uh, it summarizes absolutely everything regarding why uh, 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 healthy eating uh, is good and how it works uh, uh, towards the, 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 um, the gut and also uh, the central nervous system. So it explains many things and it, it's really interesting. Uh, but when considering uh, uh, um, acting on uh, those disorders, we need to consider the host and not only the microbe. So uh, you, you, you presented so many things regarding uh, the behavior and uh, all, all that, that uh, uh, amount of uh, um, parameters that should be addressed. But also we should consider uh, the genomics uh, and the epigenome and also the interaction between uh, uh, the genetics and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the microbiota. So that's the so-called nutrigenomics and the nutrigenetics that should be considered to, 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 um, to head to uh, uh, personalization of uh, medicine. So this, I won't go further. Uh, this slide, <laughs> Joel presented also, but what we do at Genov is that we try to have uh, um, uh, a multi-target approach. All those data that have been presented today uh, uh, regarding probiotics and what strain is better, uh, actually, okay, maybe we could find some few strains that could be relevant. But if you do not consider uh, 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 that those circular causalities uh, are important, uh, you, you, you will fail uh, uh, the efficacy of the, uh, of the treatment. So acting with a multi-target approach is probably the best. So uh, uh, Joel introduced you uh, th this paper that we have uh, published with, uh, along with uh, Marion and, and, and Joel regarding um, major depressive disorders with a clinical trial ongoing. 
just to show you with the same concept, multi-target approach, uh, uh, we have also showed something extremely interesting regarding endometriosis. So uh, uh, we have uh, a B2B to C uh, business model. We don't uh, uh, sell products to, uh, directly to consumer, but to farmer, con farmer industries. We perform uh, um, uh, products with um, GMP conditions. It, it is absolutely like the, the, uh, a drug, but it's not a drug. It's a nutris nutraceutical approach. And this is the range in, uh, uh, we commercialize now in 37 countries. Thank you.